What's going on guys, Prince Earth 31 Got my good buddy Bruce out here to help me film this. This is gonna be part two to this old Italian camouflage pattern. Uh, the big difference is being, is in part one, we tested the pattern in the springtime when the environment was very lush with vegetation. And uh, now we're in the middle of winter time, so most of the vegetation has died. Uh, there is a little bit of green out there, but the prominent colors are your browns, tans, and grays. Uh, another difference is uh, Bruce is actually sporting from what I understand a navy variant of the same camouflage pattern, so a different take on the same pattern. Um, got that information from Camopedia, so if there's any of you out there, I know there's um, on the last video we had some actual Italian veterans uh, that posted, so if you guys have any additional information on these camouflage patterns, we appreciate it. We always love reading that type, type of stuff. So um, let me turn it over to Bruce. What you got, man? Yeah, we love hearing from those veterans that actually served in these various different military forces, in this case, the Italian forces. I know this pattern was used for a long time, and not only is this a new camouflage pattern for the collection, Brent's got a new rifle, the Beretta BM-59. Those are uh, basically started off as modified M1 Garands and really turned into their own weapon series altogether in the end. They look a lot like an M14, but they're actually more like an M1 Garand. And uh, I'm, I'm a little bit jealous because I've, I've always wanted one, being a Beretta fan, he's got one. And uh, yeah, new rifles, new camouflage patterns. Uh, let's get out there and see how they perform. Yeah, I gotta admit, I'm kind of the jerk. You know, Bruce is one of those guys that was telling me how great they are and everything else. And uh, I'm the jerk that went out and bought one. Yeah, <laughs> so. he did, he did. <laughs> but anyway, without further ado guys, let's go ahead and put this camouflage pattern to the test. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment.
All right, guys. Well, that concludes part two of this old Italian camouflage pattern test. So I uh, hope you guys like what you're seeing. Um, one thing I'm going to say, and I say this every time we do like one of these old classic patterns, is the woods haven't changed, guys. They are exactly the same as they were when these patterns first rolled off the uh, factory line. So, uh, you know, camouflage, in my opinion, never goes obsolete. Um, it's just as good now as it was back then. So that's all I'm going to say in closing with that. I know that I got this uh, Italian camouflage uniform pretty pretty dang cheap uh, for a sportsman's guide. So it's out there. If you get an opportunity to snatch it up, you know, it might be worth a shot. So Bruce, what do you think, man? I agree totally. That, that oversuit that you've got is fantastic. It's not too heavy. It's not too hot. It's designed to go over another uniform or another set of clothes. And it's a, it's a pretty multi-use piece of equipment, especially when it's fairly expensive. If you're on a budget or you're looking for something maybe for a right. bug out bag or something like that, it's ideal because you can get them at a pretty good price. And I think that the pattern is completely effective. It definitely blends, blends in better in the green, right. but it's workable in an environment like right. this. It's a, it's a tough material. It's not, you know, really light or anything like that. It's pretty solid material construction that it, uh, they made this out of. So yeah, but in any event, thanks for watching guys. And don't forget to leave a comment.